to the crazy day at Tresham College. We're gonna go in the workshop and see what the lads are up to today. Okay then, Joe. So we're here with Joe, and Joe's just completed stages one, two, and three in his plastic conduit exercise. Mm. So as we look down here, we had three one-way switches controlling three lights. Is that correct, Joe? Yeah, that's correct. Right, we've been talking about this in the classroom. What type of RCCB have we got there? That's an AC type. Okay, and we've looked at the restrictions of those. And the breaker itself, how many amps is the circuit breaker worth? Six amp breaker. And type? As a type B breaker. What size cable did you wire the circuit in? Uh, 1.5 millimeter squared. And what was the first test we carried out? Uh, the continuity CPC. We did. Did we include any of the tests at the same time? Uh, yeah, the polarity test. What did we put in the polarity box? Uh, tick. We do. And what does R2 stand for? Uh, it wasn't the CPC. Good answer. Yeah, that's it. So that's our job. And you're ready now for marking. Thanks, Joe. No, no problem. OK, so I'm in here now with Jack. OK, you right, Jack? Hey. Okay, so I can see in your consumer, Jack, it looks quite neat considering how many times we've had to test this circuit. You've identified them with numbers. What are you doing that for? Uh, to show that they're different circuits and it makes it easier for testing and fault finding. Okay, brilliant, that makes sense. And also I can see on one of the circuits there, the first circuit there's 32 amp type B. What type of circuit are we mimicking there for circuit number one? An A1 ring final circuit. Good, and I can see you put tape on both the circuit protective conductor, the line, and if I look in the back there, the neutral. What if we tape those conductors? to show that they're a different leg of the circuit. Okay, so a different leg of the ring final circuit. And that helped us when we were doing the test, did you agree? Yeah. So let's just step back and have a look at your job. So let's have a look back. So we've got a plastic conduit job here for sockets, and we've got an additional socket. I think this one at the top is slightly different. This socket at the top is what in relationship to the ring? A spur. It is a spurred socket outlet. What size plastic conduit did we use? 20 mil. We used 20 mil. Can you give me two other common sizes of plastic conduit? 16 and 32. Okay. Okay, so we're going to join Fidel. Fidel's given me uh, one or two issues over the time he's been with us, but he's had a cracking couple of weeks. So what are we doing here, Fidel? Doing the continuity CPC plus polarity test. Okay, so we're trying to get a continuity CPC, but we've got one of these maintenance-free connectors, haven't we? Are we yeah. using some sort of long probe? Yeah, I'm using a probe, but it's pretty tricky to hold it on and then do the test, but I'm managing right now. Okay, so we get that reading? Uh, reading of 0.25 megaohms. Megaohms? No, I'm sorry. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, quickly correcting yourself there. What the issue is, we're trying it really difficult, aren't we, to try and get into yeah. the, the access hole in here, if you put, yeah, yeah, with that probe. Yeah. Okay, so great idea, maintenance-free connectors. We love them at college, don't we? Yeah. But a little bit tricky to test. Let's see if we can do the other yeah, one. This one's a bit easier. Okay. It's just in the top there. Is it a different make, or is it the same Yeah, it's make? a different make. Okay. Is that this a Wago? This one's a Wago one. Oh, we all love Wagos. So I'm just joining Ryan. Ryan, which test are you going to carry out for me next? Oh, I'm carrying out insulation resistance. Okay, so looking at your circuit, is there anything you're worried about during the test? Uh, yes. Well, when we do insulation resistance, we have to pass 500 volts DC, but the smoke alarm uh, has electronic parts and that would damage the system. So what are you going to do with this smoke detector before carrying out the test? Um, I would simply just unclip this so then the electronic parts are in here and then it doesn't go through. Are you now happy you can start this test? I am, yes. What are we up to, Jordan? I'm currently wiring my smoke detector. Okay, so, and that's in a different cable. I see we've used a, a red cable here. What yeah. sort of cable is that? It's an FP200. It is. And the actual protection around that is made of what material? That's aluminium. And which conductor is it connected to? The CPC. It is, making it a screened cable. We're going to obviously fit a smoke detector on the end here. Have you got to earth the actual uh, termination box there in the conduit? Yeah. And why have you got to earth it? What type of conductive it's part will that be? Exposed conductive part. Brilliant answer, thank you. Okay, so here I am with Tom, you right, Tom? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep, connected to your fuse connection unit and I can see you've wired your socket circuit. Just confirm to me, please, what size cable you wired that socket circuit in, please? 2.5 millimeters squared. What size was the CPC, though? It's also 2.5 millimeters squared. Yeah, because it's in, obviously in conduits in singles. Yeah. Um, we're mimicking, which one of the ring final circuits are we trying to mimic here? It's A1. We know it's not a domestic installation, but the, the warding body asks us to mimic the principles of an A1 ring final circuit. We did have one additional socket from the uh, ring final circuit. What did we call the additional socket from ring final circuit? It's a spur. It is. And if I had three sockets on a ring final circuit, how many spurred sockets going to have off it? Three. You can. Uh, what size will the fuse be when we eventually connect up our consumer's unit for this circuit? For the so socket? 32 amp. And what type will the device be? It's type B. Will it need any additional protection? Yes. What device will offer additional protection? An RCD. And the real last tricky one, how many milliamps must the RCD be rated at or below in order to offer additional protection? 30 milliamps. Great answer, carry on champ. Okay, okay Owen, what are you up to? I'm just jotting down my working out for my testing. Which circuit are you jotting down the results for? Uh, ring final circuit. 
Does that require us to do some calculations? Yeah, it does for the second part of it. Okay, so what did you record first of all? What readings did you record first of all? Uh, for me? Little R1, little RN, and little R2. Okay, and you're taking those readings and making some calculations, I see? Yep. Once you've made those calculations, when we actually measure a socket on a ring for on a circuit, how much tolerance, either positive or negatively, from the calculated value can we have? It has a 0 0.05 positive and negative. Okay, from the actual measured value, yeah? Yep. Okay, we'll get to that test in a second. All right.